Hi, I'm Mark Shortis, Vice Principal of Mother Teresa. I'm here with Nathan. Hi, I'm Nathan. Nathan, uh, you've done a great job getting used to the school and, and, uh, and you've been involved in a lot of different things. What have you enjoyed the most about being in Canada and Mother Teresa? Well, the, the thing I think Canada is a special one because I think Canada is really multicultural and there are students from all around the world in this school and I've met a lot of friends and they are all really nice to me because I was new here last year and I think the most important thing here is how to become independent and I learned it and I, I can learn it back, back to China but I learned it here so I think that's really important for me and I learned a lot more. Well, my name is Mr. Rigel. welcome everyone. I am an ESL teacher here at, uh, at the school and it is my privilege to be standing here with one of our international students, Catherine. I'm actually standing here in Mother Teresa, a school with like Catholic and religion and also equality. And now I'm currently in grade 12, so it's like a busy year for me. But I encourage every one of you just to try to get out of your comfort zone to see a totally new world. And Mother Teresa is a place to just, I don't know, reach your own goals, I guess. Excellent, perfect. So here at Mother Teresa, we have many different programs, sports teams, clubs, events. There's always something happening here at the school, and we would love it if you had an opportunity to join us. If you look behind us, this is a championship wall of some of the successes that our teams have had. So we have ice hockey championships, volleyball, basketball, soccer. We have many awards. Our school is one of the most competitive and one of the strongest athletic programs in the city and we are very proud uh, of our students, our Spartans, uh, and all of our uh, international students. And there is a, always an opportunity for students from anywhere around the world to join us here at Mother Teresa and to participate and to join our community and to um, be part of the experience. We are very welcoming and we feel you would have a wonderful time here. Catherine, are there any clubs or anything in your experience well, that you can speak about? Right, that's what I'm going to say. So, like, we do have lots of clubs, and this year we just, I just heard we got like a ping pong club. So, if anyone's good at it, just please join us. We also have bad media for both boys and girls, volleyball, football, soccer, whatever you want. And if you can play hockey, then wow, it's amazing. And aside from sports activities, we also have those drama production, I mean art, and um, so there's some pottery and um, uh, like drama production, and as you've probably seen in the former video, Nathan, she's actually, he's actually involved in one of the, uh, the show this time. And except that, we also have lots of fun, interesting activities, like today we have just been through the powder puff. We actually raised the money for a cancer breast. Um, there's just lots of things to explore and see, so why not give it a try? Absolutely. That's great. And I mean, the other nice thing is, I'm sure many of you are filled with lots of ideas. If you bring ideas to the school, we can make new clubs. If there are interests that you have, we are always open to exploring other options. If there are things that you are passionate about, and whether it's you know anime or if there are certain types of sports or anything like that, we are always open to new clubs. and. We will be happy to make your dreams come true at Mother Teresa. Exactly. So there's also like, well, if you don't like sports, don't like art, you just want to be a simple nerd, it's also a great place. <laughs> I mean, like, look at me, I'm actually a nerd, I just study all day, but we actually have book clubs and like debate club, and we also have mock trial. We can just be like the judges, and you can just look at the cases and talk, and people just discuss about some topic. So there's lots of things to do, it just whether you want it or not. Catherine, can you tell us a little bit about your background? Where did you go to school in China? Where did you come okay. from? Okay, so I, uh, I was in Nanjing and um, I was in Nanjing for a language school and I came here when I was grade 10. So now I've spent like a, half, a year and a half. So this is my second and a half year, you can say. And for so far, like I met different people from different cultural backgrounds, and I met amazing teachers. They actually taught me not only knowledge about subjects, but also like life experience and what you gotta do. You have to do it with your gut. So there's lots of things to learn, to see, to play, to enjoy in this place in Canada. And it's also a very beautiful country, especially the maple leaves. And the maple syrup is also very delicious. And 
And um, personally, I also built a culture club for Canada as like a multicultural country. And、uh, we also have students and teachers from different cultural backgrounds. So I think this is a good idea to let them to know more about the Eastern culture. And at that time, we also have a Japanese teacher visiting us. So we just hold some events about Japanese and Chinese culture. Like for example, for the first time, we actually did calligraphy. So we just use、uh, Chinese calligraphy to write their English name into Chinese, and everything can just stick them into like four chests and as a symbol like to represent themselves. And for the second event, we actually chose to do origami, and we just、um, taught them how to fold these、um, interesting objects. And、um, so they learned, and they just pass them to their parents and friends as a gift. 我是深圳二高的，然后呢，我来这里是去年来的，哎、right? ，然后呢，我在这里待了一年半吧，一年半差不多。然后呢，当时来的时候也是非常的突然的决定，就直接过来了，然后并没有什么准备，然后就去搞签证，然后什么巴拉巴拉巴拉，搞完就直接飞过来一个人，然后也不认识任何人，就一个人跑过来这里上高中，然后现在上了一年半之后，感觉。这里是真的是非常好，加拿大人也是非常的 nice， 呃，相比个别的国家还是很很大区别的。你真的是就是很想，就是想接触一下加拿大或者是呃国外的一些学习生活的话，不用想太多，因为我当时就没有想太多。然后我当时直接跟我爸妈说，呃，我想来加拿大，然后他们就同,同意了。然后我我直接一个人过来了，我感我现在也佩服当时我自己怎么做决定的。但是如果你想来的话，就。就直接来，然后因为现在这里也有挺多的中国学生，然后还有我们中国很好的老师。So I think Mother Teresa is a very internationalized school.、Uh, we have a lot of students from all all around the world,、uh, including French, Korea, China, Japan, name a country, we have them.、Um, so don't worry, you can have all the friends from from anywhere. Everywhere from the world. Actually, I think traveling, I can't guarantee you can really how to improve yourself. But I think this experience is very good because it helps you to prepare for your future and to do some things for your future. It helps you to prepare for your future and to do some things for your future. It helps you to prepare for your future and to do some things for your future. It helps you to prepare for your future and to do some things for your future. It helps you to prepare for your future and to do some things for your future. It helps you to prepare for your future and to do some things for your future. 但是有时候可能会帮助家里去做一些零散的家务活，包括其实像我是每天走路上学，那么我们现在天冷了，我有时候早上真的很不想起来上学，但是想想看有没有人可以催我，这个我妈也不可能真的去来喊我，所以一切事情都是要靠自己自觉和负责。那么如果你可以在这份坚持个一到两年，我觉得你会有一个在你的人生经历上有个质的飞跃和突破。其实，当你真正以后去走到社会上去看一些你不懂的，或者是你没有接触过领领域，你也不会害怕的，因为你曾经有过一个人来到加拿大的时候，那么未来的一切就可以迎刃而解。顺便说一下我们这边的课程吧。对。呃，我们每天一共有五个 period， 然后呢，第一个。第，呃，然后有有两个 lunch， 然后你可能是第一个 lunch 跟第二个 lunch， 然后我是第一个 lunch， 然后呢，我就是第一个 period， 第二个 period 之后，第三个就是 lunch， 然后后面后面就有两个两两节课，然后一节课是一个小七十五分钟，哦对，七十五分钟，挺久的，但是你适应之后你就觉得一下就过了，然后下午两点零五放学，早上八点钟上学上课，上广播，这个时候其实，啊、嗯。我们有我们会有一个叫 anti bully， 就是反欺凌，所以基本上在这学校看不到什么霸凌的现霸凌的事情，就是在大家电视剧里看到一些美高霸凌啊，基本没有，这还真的没怎么见到过。This is all my students. I feel very proud of them. They are very very、uh, wonderful students. So I feel I made the right decision to recruit them and to bring them to Mother Teresa to London. We have good sports teams. I just said that. <laughs> okay, we are very inclusive. We love new people. We um are not clicky. Like our schools. Our are girls. Our girls aren't the. Like, they're okay. They're, like, they're what the do best, you mean? They, we have the best country team. He thinks they're hot. Oh, what do you think about Canada's very good hockey team? Good hockey team. Yes, that's it. Nice. That's it. Just kidding. Our senior girls' basketball team is really good. Our chess club is like pretty intense. 
Oh, our drama department is actually really yeah. nice. From our stage, the best part of the school. It's also good. Yeah. And art. All the arts. The, all, all our arts are actually yeah, really good. Yeah, the sports, sports are, are good. Um, all right. Depending what sport. Yeah. Basketball is really fun. Sports program is decent, but this the guy, art art guys. are better. <laughs> Yeah, our, our arts are like more yep. top than... Yep. What else? Good teachers, arts, and uh, that's, yeah, that's, all. that's <laughs> everything you need to know. I am the Director General of the London District Catholic School Board, and we have made it part of our mission to invite international students to our schools. We have 54 schools in our district that are situated here in London, Ontario, Canada. And we have, for the past three to five years, been welcoming international students to our board. And the benefit of that has been really for both. For both our students who are coming to us, to Canada, uh, what we're able to provide in terms of an education that uh, not only here in our high schools, but also then we transition them to our post-secondary. And also, the advantage for our students that they have in meeting our international students, and we literally have students from worldwide. So together we're really learning about each other. So what I say to, to you is welcome. Uh, we would love to um, welcome you here to our board, uh, to London District Catholic, to London, to Ontario, and to Canada. Thank you. Welcome, my name is Anna Paula Fernandez, and I am the proud, proud principal here at Mother Teresa Catholic Secondary School. Mother Teresa is a school that is open to all international students. We find that uh, opening our doors to all students is a gift that we bring to the students here at Mother Teresa as well as the staff. We've had opportunities to internationalize our school environment, thereby learning with and from one another, and at the end of the day, learning that we are really more alike than we are different. Our school is a very academic school. Uh, we rank second here in uh, the City of London, Ontario, and we are very, very proud of that. And we know that that is as a result of not only the gifts and talents of our students, but also of our staff members. We take great pride in balancing the experience here for our students between the academics uh, as well as all of the extracurricular activities that take place. Everything from um, sports to the arts um, as well as specialty programs in French immersion, specialist high skills majors in the areas of health and wellness, uh, medical sciences, sports and recreation, not-for-profit, um, robotics and engineering, as well as uh, the uh, arts. So we really look forward to you uh, joining us, uh, being part of our experience, where we share not only a school, but the experience at home.
来吧，看吧。Welcome to Mother Teresa Catholic Secondary School， 加拿大安大略省伦敦市特蕾莎修女天主教中学，欢迎您。